boom at the John Ball Zoo. In just the last couple of months alone, multiple different animals have been born here. We took a look today at why that might be happening. At the John Ball Zoo, cuteness overload. I know it's amazing, isn't it? They're pretty cute. The baby animals keep on coming. Penguin hatchlings, a baby bongo, and these very playful baby lynx, to name a few. Then we have our snow leopard baby, um, and she's not quite out yet. She's still a little clumsy. We're expecting another three or four weeks before she's out. All feathers in the zoo's cap. Lots of these births are part of what's called a species survival plan. So the SSPs, um, and I'll use golden lion tamarin, that is a small South American primate, and without an SSP, uh, they wouldn't be around anymore. The uh, uh, species survival plan is single-handedly uh, responsible for saving that species. And the zoo's got big plans for their even bigger cats. Well, um, we, we are actively pursuing breeding tigers. Um, uh, so that's a process in its own. You kind of get to see like the circle of life. Because since I get to see the baby ones, maybe someday when I come back, I get to see them when they're older. So again, no baby tigers just yet at the zoo, but the zoo does also say that they're planning to breed pygmy hippos in the future. So lots of exciting things on the horizon here at the John Ball Zoo. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.